الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اسال الله العلي القدير ان يغفر لي ولكم جميع ذنوبنا praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the lord of the universe lord of everything and i ask him by his names and attributes that he will forgive our sins and guide us to the straight path i welcome our viewers to a new episode of Eternal Message, the message of life, the message of Islam, the message of nature, the message of the Lord. And I welcome my, my participants here and my colleagues, not just students. <laughs> Abdul Fattah from the States, Brother Noor next to him from Indonesia. From Indonesia. All the way from the far west to the far east. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Rahim, Fagini Kinekiri, in Africa, all the way to the far east again. Yeah. And Brother Akmal from Malaysia. And of course, you, my viewer, my friend and brother that is there in his living room, wherever part of the world you're at, we welcome all of you. We talked about the Aqidah. In the message of eternal message, and today, our episode is about at-tawakkul. At-tawakkul is to have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Lord. To rely, to depend, to have faith. That your faith is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot fail. You're already successful. You're guaranteed success. Even if it seems that in the eyes of others, that you have failed, that you have fell short, mm -hmm. but you're successful already. You have succeeded because once you are on the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He's on your side, then you have succeeded in life. You have surpassed everything, everyone and everything in all expectations. Listen to this ayah, my brothers and sisters out there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِهِ قَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدْرًا وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهُ Whoever puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the tawakkul is to put trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is the only one that can fulfill your dreams, your hopes, your missions. Tawakkul is to have faith or to put your faith in destiny in the hands of one that can fulfill it. And there's no one that can fulfill it more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever has faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust in whatever that he's aiming to get, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for him. فَهُوَ حَسْبُ أي it's enough. He mm. is enough. Mm. حَسْبُ شَيْئِ أي that is sufficient. Sufficient, yeah. Sufficient. So if you put your trust, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient. You don't need anyone else anymore. Yeah. That is why atawakkul is part of our creed. Because if you truly... Trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then He should be sufficient. Mm -hmm. You should not hope from anyone else anything. Yeah. He should fulfill it. Inna Allah baligh amri. Indeed, verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reach His target, will reach your request, will reach your hope, your dream, His command. Because mm -hmm. all of your dream and your hopes and wishes are His command. إِنَّمَا قَوْلُونَ لِشَيْءٍ إِذَا أَرَدْنَاهُ أَنْ نَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Our say of anything that we will is just to say be. And it is. He created the universe with the word be. Created you and I 
with the word be when he created Adam alayhi salam. Mm-hmm. Be, and it is. Mm-hmm. He will not fall short of your little thing that you're looking for. So have tawakkul. Have tawakkul. And he, will have, uh, and, and he will reach you there. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِهِ قَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدْرًا Brothers and sisters, listen to this last statement. قَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدْرًا hey, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have calculated for everything a time. Yeah. Qadra, time and quantity. Yeah. I mean, someone might say, Oh, I trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you $10 million. Yeah. <laughs> and then you only get five. Yeah. Oh. He didn't fulfill it, and I trusted him. No, the quantity in time, he calculates, not you. So you just have faith, you just have trust, and rely on it. And there's something here important, which people are confused. There's something called tawakkul. Say it with me. Tawakkul. Tawakkul. And then there's tawakkul. Tawakul. You put an alif after the wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay, when you write it in Arabic, it's ta, wow, kaf, lam, that's called tawakul. Okay. If you write it ta, wow, alif, kaf, lam, that's tawakul. Tawakul. Tawakul, even though it sounds alike, but it's different. Yes. Tawakul is to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to take the necessary steps. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So you're maintaining your side of it by doing the necessary steps to accomplish your mission, to reach your hopes, and then you trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it happen. Take care of the rest. Take care of the rest. Tawakul is to sit back and say, Allah, I want to be rich. And then you sit there and wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's not going to happen. Right. Allah, I want to go to Jannah. Yeah. But you don't get up in the morning to pray. Mm-hmm. You don't find people safe from your wrongdoings. You lie. You're never on time. You have problems with your wife, and you're the reason. Mm-hmm. You have problems with your husband, and you're the reason. Mm-hmm. You bother your neighbors. Mm-hmm. And then you say, I want to go to Jannah. Tawakkul Al-i'timad ala Allah Ma'a al-akhdi bil-asbab Akhdi bil-asbab Wa al-tawakkul Wa al-i'timad ala Allah Faqat So tawakkul Is to depend and trust In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala With taking the necessary steps In tawakkul Is just to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It sounds good But it's wrong <laughs> it sounds yeah. good. It sounds good. Mm. But, it's, but it's, wrong. it's wrong. Because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and brought us down to this earth, He said, فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَاءِ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُ Whoever follows my guidance, then there is no fear or sadness on their behalf. Mm-hmm. So there has to be a follow. We have to follow. We have to believe. And if you follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust in Him, he will provide for you. In hadith, Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, mm-hmm. what Umar narrates, is an authentic hadith, he said, لَوْ تَوَكَّلْتُمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِهِ لَرَزَقَكُمْ كَمَا يَرْزُقُ الطَّيْرِ تَغْدُ خِمَاصًا وَتَعُودُ بِطَانًا If you had trusted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truthfully the way you should trust, then he will provide you like he provides the birds. Yeah. It leaves its nest in the morning, empty stomach. Khimasan, a empty stomach. Khimas. And it returns to its nest at the end of the day, full stomach. Mm. It provides. Mm. It, doesn't sto- uh, it doesn't have a storage. <laughs> yeah. It provides. Mm. If you trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll find you'll return to your family with food. Yeah. You'll return to your home. Being safe, being happy, being pleased, being satisfied. The Imam of Al Qasim Al Qushayri. I know you have questions. You can ask after this. Okay. Al Imam Al Qushayri, he said, Abu Al Qasim Al Qushayri, a beautiful saying. He said, "Ilm, أن التوكل محله القلب، وأما الحركة بالظاهر." 
فلا تنافي التوكل بالقلب بعد ما يحقق العبد أن الرزق من قبل الله تعالى He said no that the tawakkul trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is places in the heart So where does the tawakkul exist? In your heart In, in, in your heart, heart. Yeah. You have to feel in your heart that you trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَمَّا الْحَرَكَةِ The movement, the action yeah, The reaction mm. The reactions of it Your work, your efforts mm-hmm. That does not contradict with the tawakkul mm. In fact, if you fulfill it Then you have fulfilled the understandings that The risk, the bounties Is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm-hmm. So right. abdi You go out Oh my servant, go out And I will provide. Yes. Uh, so what about somebody who did tawakul? Uh, is it sinful? Yes, it is a sin. It's one of the major sins mm. oh. in doing tawakul. And this person that's doing tawakul, a trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and not taking the necessary steps for his earnings and for his mm. actions. Yeah. What he's doing is, is creating imbalancement yeah. mm. within the universe. Mm. Yeah. Within the universe. Yeah. And the tawakul, If you rely on other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it becomes what? And it starts to become shirk. It becomes shirk. With your voice, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah. It starts to become shirk. It becomes shirk. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why a tawakkul is part of what we study in aqeedah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if you put your trust mm-hmm. in the state, that it'll have new laws to make our lives prosper. <laughs> you put your trust in your family in name and fame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you just might lose all of that with committing shirk at the same time. Shirk, yeah. okay. mm. If you trust your abilities in your education, indi, I have been given this based on knowledge that I have. Oh. That's considered what? Shirk. Also. That's considered shirk. akmal? Shirk. 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 Is it a major shirk or a minor shirk, Ibrahim? It's a minor shirk. It's a major shirk. Mm-hmm. It's a major shirk. Yeah. So if you rely on other than Allah subhanahu wa yeah. ta'ala, it takes you out of the fold of Islam. Major mm-hmm. shirk. It takes yeah. you out of the fold of Islam. Yeah. It's a very important fact that we need to understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, the viewer, you can learn by listening and by reading. All of what I'm telling you is there in the books. Go to your nearest library. Pick up the phone, call your nearest sheikh and imam, or just listen to Al-Huda in a session that will come of Ask Huda and ask them your questions. And within our episodes, we'll try to enlighten ourselves as well as you with the learnings of this deen. Barakallahu feekum.